Welcome back to Good Day. It's time to test your brain power. Who doesn't love a good game show, right? And this fall, you're going to get a chance to check one out featuring a Minnesota native, which is also exciting. Melissa Peterman is the host of Person, Place, or Thing. Coming to Fox 9, it's coming to the fall lineup. We're really excited about it. Take a look. You guys, you are up for another clue. Clue four, here we go. She played Queen Clarice Rinaldi in The Princess Diaries. Joanne. Is it Julie Andrews? Yes, <laughs> yeah, it is. Just like. I would have known that one. That's probably the one I would know. So as you saw just there, Melissa quizzes the contestants, offering up a variety of clues on a person, place, or thing. Well, Melissa joins us this morning. Welcome to Good Day. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. I love this. Okay, we're going to test it out in a little bit, but we want to okay. kind of get, get the scoop and get all this, and I know that there's going to be some fun at the fair that yes. people can try out. But how did this come to be? And, and kind of walk us through the process to getting to this point. Uh, well, I, I, Jeff Proctor uh, and my friend Paul Franklin brought this to me, I think over, we're thinking two years ago. Wow. They had an idea for a show. Maybe it was even longer. It's Time is a blur at this point. <laughs> sure. um, and so I think there's a game here. Um, and we started to play it on Zoom. We really liked it. We kind of played around with it, pitched it to uh, Stephen Brown and everyone at Fox. They liked it. We did a test run a year ago. And they brought us back that, to, to do a full season. So we're just thrilled. I mean, it's a longer journey than that. That was a short version, but <laughs> right. just grateful to be here. I love game shows. I love playing them. I love hosting them. So it's a dream dream come true, really. And it's finally here. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. And you're also an executive producer on the show. So what is that like? Um, it, it just means that um, I get to be involved a little bit more and, and be able to uh, have a little more input. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's just a title, who knows? Um, <laughs> it's I, a cool title. Either, either, way, really either cool. way, I put my two cents in any time. But it's uh, <laughs> it's kind of a thrill. It just gets, it's, it sort of feels like our baby a little bit, so it's it's great. Oh, so you were just talking in the break, you're, you're through a lot of the filming, not all of it, but as this process is going, and I know you love game shows and have, have been a fan and been in this industry for a long time, what has been kind of the biggest surprise or something that was a little unexpected about this once you got into it? Um, that I, as competitive as I am that, that wants to play, that it's, I can turn that off when I'm hosting, because sometimes I want to, I want to play, come on, yes. it's Julie Andrews, I, we knew yeah. that, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, to be able to turn that off as a host, like I'm surprised I can let that competitive competitive competitiveness go and I'm just rooting for all of them to win really and how funny everybody is like that's yeah. what I love is that yeah. if you just let people be people everyone is funny everyone's got a story to tell so my job is really just to let them shine and that's that's the best part do you I've always wondered this do you get to see the clues ahead of time or are you handed the card and like here's your 20 questions go I get to see them ahead of time okay are there yes. ones that you can rule out like you think this is too hard this is or like yes. I don't know this one or anything like that sometimes yeah okay. and I, I like to play them too because I want to go if, if not that I you know I'm not that bright, but I think I'm a good average, you know, I'm a good test. I'm a sure. good canary yeah. down the well. I guess, I, no one would get this. Mm -hmm. And there's like, we have a magic little formula because we have a speed round at the end where you have to get a person, place, or thing in 60 seconds. And it's a hard round. So we try to make it that it's really doable, but a challenging thing. So if we think that the category is a little too tough or give them a little more help, point them in the right lane so they can race through this, you know. So I definitely will say I think this... We need to give them a little more help here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As viewers, we like that too. We like to be like, I know that one. I'm very smart. I oh, for sure. Yes. Yeah. And also, I've got a thing in my ear <laughs> yeah. that you know, when they go, "Would well, that person's still alive?" And I'm like, um, "Yes, they're still alive." Um, <laughs> I wondered that. I have one now too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Melissa, you're doing well. I'm doing well today. Keep it up. You are. Keep it you up. are. Yeah. You are yeah. Brilliant. Um, Fox Nine <laughs> had the chance to follow you around in Minneapolis when you were kind of um, testing this out. What yeah. was the response from people? They were. I I was, this is great because no one knows the game yet. No, it hasn't been on every day, so they don't really know the game. But it feels familiar because it's 20 questions. People were playing along, mm -hmm. and it was surprisingly how they caught on real fast, and they loved it. And I also was surprised that a lot of people that live here didn't know that the Mary Tyler Moore statue was right in front of them the whole time. <laughs> yeah, that was another surprise. Like, you work here. You walk by her every day. Yeah, you do not know who this is. Yeah. 
It was really fun. I was really surprised that people were willing to play with us as a stranger, a tall, sweaty stranger said, <laughs> <laughs> but that's Minnesota for you. They, of course that's they'll true. come play. They're yeah. nice. They're, they don't like to say no. They it's don't mean. say no. no. Okay. Inside they might be screaming no, <laughs> right. but They're we nervous. just don't say it out loud. <laughs> okay, so you, you've done stand-up comedy, you've acted, and now hosting this game show. What's kind of the difference in, in those things for you? I think they all use different muscles, but I think that they make you better at the other thing. Doing improv makes me better at hosting. Doing uh, hosting makes me better at stand-up. Um, stand-up makes you better um, acting. So I think they all sort of feed in, and they're different muscles that help each other out. But not everybody can do all those things. Uh, I mean, honestly. I don't, th maybe not. I don't no, know. No, they can't. No, they can't. Maybe it's not. a compliment. I, yeah. Well, I, I, <laughs> as a Minnesota, it's too hard to take one. Yeah, you know? yeah I we, don't, we don't like those. <laughs> oh, like, no. This is a compliment. Oh, gosh. No, anyone can do it. It's fine. <laughs> and then you say, I got this blazer on sale. I got the, <laughs> I <did. laughs> Zara clearance. Exactly. Thank you very much. It's a much. very Minnesotan thing, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. The show is called Person, Place, or Thing. We decided to play our own version here this morning. It's called Person, Place, or Thing State Fair yes. Edition because it is a week and, what, three days? away or something like that? Mm -hmm. Ten days to count. Okay, oh, you got it. <laughs> I love okay, it. so Melissa is going to give mm -hmm. us clues about State Fair items to see if we can guess what it is. Yes, okay. so this is a version of our speed round, so I'm just going to list clues, and when you think you know it, the first one, just say your name, and, and we'll, that will be our buzzer, right? Okay. Okay, Okay. <clears throat> here we go. Okay. All right, speed round. I'm just going to list clues. When you know it, uh, let me know. Here we go. This person sits in a refrigerator. This person knows everything about Minnesota's dairy industry. Hannah. Beep. Oh, oh Princess K. Yes, Princess K. I said beep. I said beep. beep. I said beep. Oh, beep. beep. I like it. <laughs> beep. Buzz. Either way. Okay. I'll just point to you. Here we go. Next up. This place was first built in 1885. It features more than 200 merchandise vendors. It has been used as an art gallery, a car show space, and a flower market. Beep. Yes. The egg building? No. Beep. The Coliseum? No. No beeping? So nothing. <laughs> nothing. This was a, the State Fair Grandstand. Oh, oh okay, yeah. here we go. Okay. This thing, there are more than 3,000 of these things are made every minute at the fair. They go through 3 Beep. million. Yes. Sweet Martha's. Yes, yeah, Sweet Martha's yeah. cookies. Yeah. This place is the <laughs> oldest food concession stand at the State Fair. Beep. You're, yes. Uh, the milk booth. The milk booth? No. The milk booth. <laughs> the milk booth. No, no. The, uh, their signature dish <laughs> is ham loaf. Oh, beep. Beep. The yes. Hamlin Dining Hall. <laughs> you beeped back you, at her. I beeped after you. Now we're just talking to beeps. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Can you tell my, my competitiveness is yes. kind of coming out a little bit? I'm sorry, yeah, guys. Exactly. I don't I like don't to lose games. It was the Hamlin Church Dining Hall. Uh, all right, with thing. One was introduced in 1966, the other in 1983. One wears green stripes and one wears blue stripes. Both are gophers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I they got are. the one. It's like fairway and... This is a speed round, people. Mc Come on, Mc speed it up. Uh, it's, uh, it's Fairchild. Fairchild yes. is one of them. Um, what is the other guy? Well. Okay, when you um, when, you're, when you give birth, it, a baby is... Canals. They go off oh, the canals. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was trying to get you hit. Fairborn and Fairchild. Not Fair Canal. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> My favorite. Here we go. <laughs> These were invented at the State Fair in 1949. <laughs> the booth goes through 70 tons of batter each Beep. year. Yes. Um, pronto pups. No. These are Beep. dusted with yes. Tom thumbs. Yes. Oh. Tom, Tom, Tom thumb donuts. I needed to make up for that last one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me have that. I don't know no. if you're ever going to recover from that <laughs> you're, one. You're fine. You're fine. This is great. Okay. <laughs> this person performed in the grandstand in the year 2000. She still holds the record for most tickets Beep. sold. Yes. Christina Aguilera. Yes. Boom. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes. This booth goes through 4,000 pounds of butter each fair. This booth. Beep. Yes. Corn roast. Yes. Yes, the oh. corn roast. This food was first introduced in 1947. Its motto is a banquet on a stick. The booths go through 70 tons of batter each year. Should I go with the Pronto Pop again? You should go okay. with the Pronto Pop because it was the Pronto okay. Pop. Okay, this place is an attraction that made its debut in 2001. It features everything from pigs and lambs to goats Beep. and cows. Miracle of Birth? Yes, the Miracle of Birth Center. You ran a theme here. <laughs> you ran a theme. That's all we had. Good job, oh, ladies. Yay. Oh, we clapped ourselves. Yay. I know. Yay. Yay. We're so, so great.
fancy version of our speed round I love right it. there. Okay, obviously your game show is your favorite, but if it's be other than yours, what is your go-to favorite game show of all time? That's a good question. Oh, of all time? Yes. I mean, I have to say 25 words or less. I love playing that one. Mm -hmm. As a player, it's so fun to play. And I, and I, and I love Pictionary, too, but like Password, Pyramid, mm -hmm. um, those old school. I love mm -hmm. Match Game. I love to watch those. Uh, family Feud. So good. I want to do that one so bad. Can you imagine a Minnesota family? We would. Oh, you oh, take it. No, yeah. Oh, oh, no, you know, no, oh, no, it's please. your turn. Oh, um, didn't mean to get you. I didn't mean to get you in your way. Yeah. Uh, family Feud. I'd say fam. I'd say Pyramid. Okay. All time. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. This yeah, was a lot of fun, though. This I really like this fun. game. It got intense, and that's and, a sign of a I know, good I game. Felt it. <laughs> and in the other rounds, you could ask me yes or no questions to get to. Well, oh. If I say this person is a artist or a musical artist, you might say dead or alive, uh, male or female, okay. still making music, and then you narrow it down and get to the. I love it. Yeah, it's really fun. <sighs> so fun. Do you it's get really to, fun. like a chance to help pick who's going to be on the show? Are you uh, part of that No, uh, we have an amazing okay. uh, Edward. He casts it and finds people, contestants. We have had such fun, amazing people that have come to play. And yeah, I have nothing right, to do with it. that's a big part of it as well. It I mean, is. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, it's, you're only as good as the people playing the game. Yeah. And we have gotten some amazing, fun, that are engaged. And yeah, we've had great people. Love it. Melissa, thank you for joining us. Person, Place, or Thing premieres September 11th at 3 p.m. on Fox 9. And you can catch Melissa at the State Fair on the first Saturday and Sunday at the State Fair at the Fox 9 booth. She's actually going to play Person, Place, or Thing and Pictionary with host Jerry O'Connell. Oh, this is huge. Fun. It's big. I'm I told excited. Jerry, I'm like, Jerry, you have no idea what you're in for. This is the best <laughs> party on earth. You're going to want to move you in. You two are fun. It's fun, fun together. If it got this intense here. I know, right? <laughs> Just wait. Just so wait. And thanks for it. coming over to our side. You're, yeah. you're on the Jason Show a lot, so I know our audience is I'll come familiar anytime. with you. We love having you. Well, super fun. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, I'm like sweating. <laughs> I was intense. Yeah, really I know. I don't know what to say. <laughs>